We're down here on Valentine's Day in downtown Tampa, feeding the homeless. We're okay. here with St. Jude's, and I've got my student with me too, doing uh, some filming. And uh, so glad to see you here too, Mark. Hola, Skinny cómo está? <laughs> <laughs> Looking buff here, showing up at the. Oh God. <laughs> Don't make me drop this camera. <laughs> I like her. State fair is open. Yeah. Oh, no. no, no, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the last day. Tomorrow's the last day. They didn't have a good time. It rained all the time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, pretty bad. It's supposed to be nice today. Get the bar. I mean, get the work. Well, then anyway. That's enough for me. You got meat on. You want any hash browns, Angel? You sure they got meat on. Thank you. Oh, uh, did you get some cookies? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, he cleaned his plate. What'd you do? Lick it? Yeah. He belongs to the Clean Plate Club, right? Oh, bad. Yes. Bad. Hold on. Yeah. Gotta add that little bit there. Get it back. Does the mayor Pam Iorio treat the people down here? Well, if I can answer that, perhaps you would be here for some help for I, I do believe that the mayor need help more in one way. She uh, treat the people like, oh, it's hard to say. Well, uh, I mean, Tampa doesn't have any city homeless shelters like Orlando or Jacksonville or other cities. Have you noticed that? Yes, I do. The Salvation Army, not no Salvation Army. But that's not the city, that's not the county. Those are church organizations. How come this, I wonder. Well, you know, that makes you wonder. I mean, uh, the mayor would, with this big old thing going on by building her city and building her town, that make you wonder. What do she care about her people? She ought to have these shelters for them. She ought to have a whole lot of things for them. But the only thing she done, and in my eyes, she can have her group to come and lock me up and do whatever it is now. Yeah, like I said, I wonder what's with museum. the home and neck, neck. <laughs> I feel that if she can really just settle down and find out how many homeless here, It'd be a good deal. But if she realized how many homeless she made to be homeless, that's another. I mean, with the trust, trust passes. I mean, you get three trust passes, so hey, if you got a apartment or place that you're supposed to move into, you get three little warning, and then hey, you can't get the apartment. And you know, I think that's a kind of bad. I think it's more than bad. I think that not caring for your people, you're not really caring for your town. You're looking at for number one. I think she you. cares more about appearances. Yes, uh, you know, through the years I had did some work for her. I used to do I uh, used to go around and broadcast thing the way I'm doing now by talking about what what is today. I used to go and represent her at a whole lot of places. We used to go to the parks and feed and what have you because she wanted to be seen in the limelight. To let people know that she is in the limelight, that she doing it. When also the token had come from people like yourself that bring things out and put them out. And if you come too regular, and seem like you're getting some type of attention, she don't run you out of town. I mean, they done closed down so many people that wanted to come here to work and try to help this city, or this little country town, however you want to look at it. 